Here's the Honda S2000 motor. We're gonna remove the pulley. And you have two different methods. You could either use this Honda tool, which is a very common tool. Just put this guy on here. Use a jack handle, slide it on, and then rotate counterclockwise with a 19 millimeter and a large ratchet. Just put this thing in here and pop the thing off. That's option one. Option two, we can use an impact gun. Now we're gonna slide the pulley off. Just slide it off gently, it should come right out. Okay, so now that we have the crank pulley off, we're gonna prep a couple things, and a couple things to make a note of is one, there is a key in the crank right here, and there's a matching keyway in the back of our ATI damper. So now I'm gonna prep this damper by adding just a little bit of wheel bearing grease to it. Just a real thin film of it, just on the inside right here. Just on this leading edge, you can see it. Find the correct adapter. This is the adapter for the S2000. Just put that in to the crank, snug and tight. You're gonna find your tool and you need to put it in this orientation. This particular piece here can come off and go on the opposite direction, but this is the orientation that we need, okay? Now, align the key way with the key on the crank. And kind of put it on there. And then grab these two pieces just like this. And then screw this thing on. And you want to try and hold the damper in, in place so that way it stays in the right location so that way the key does not get messed up. So I'm just going to screw this adapter piece on until it hits the bottom and then now I'm going to screw this piece on. Meanwhile I want to make sure the damper is in the right location. Make sure that keyway is still attached. You can almost feel it going on already. Now all I got to do is grab some wrenches and put it on. And now to press the thing on we just need a 19 millimeter wrench and a 27 millimeter wrench. Place 19 on the end and rotate this guy clockwise. And this slowly presses on the ATI damper. As you get closer and closer to the bottom, you'll eventually feel it bottom out. Once it bottoms out, that's when it is completely pressed on. And that's bottomed out. And to remove the tool, just place the 19 on here back out the 27 like this. Should loosen up. Loosen this guy out. Now I should be able to rotate the 19 out. Back it out by hand and then it releases. Oftentimes the adapter tool will come out with it. Okay, here's the back of the motor. To hang on to the flywheel when we tighten the crank bolt, you could either use this, one of these particular tools. It is a flywheel wrench. You can have one of your guys hang on to it. Pretty much just attaches on like this, and one of your guys will hang on to it. Or you could use this type of tool, which is made by Honda. And it just goes on like this. pretty much hangs on to the flywheel so that way when you tighten it down it does its job. And I'm just going to take a 14 millimeter wrench, tighten it down on the back side. And this will hold the flywheel down. So that way when we torque down it will not move. And here's what it looks like on the other side. Just that little bolt right here. 
right there. There it is on the front, tying it down. Prior to installing the S2000 crank bolt, we need to add a little bit of new motor oil to the threads. I'm just gonna dip my brush and brush right along the edge here. And then we also need to add a little bit of motor oil, brand new motor oil, right on the very top of this washer. And then it's prepped for installation. Now we're gonna insert it in. Take that thing down. And I'm gonna take a torque wrench with a 19 millimeter and torque it to factory spec. The last thing we have to do to put this ATI damper on is install the final three bolts. These bolts were used to take the damper off. You gotta add just a little bit of blue Loctite, just one drop on each end. And then we're gonna install each one in the empty holes. Get them started by hand. And then we're gonna final torque these to 16 foot-pounds with a T40 Plus. Make sure you use the T40 Plus. If you don't use the T40 Plus, you're gonna mess up the heads of the screws. Now we're just gonna to torque it down. Tort. Tort. And tort. And now all we have to do is remove this last tool off the flywheel. And that just means taking this guy off. And then we're all set.